What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys all of my tips and tricks and knowledge to improving your aim in COD Mobile. I hope this video helps you out and if it does, be sure to leave a like and if you are brand new to my channel, this is your first time here, welcome. I'll be uploading a lot more COD Mobile content just like this, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified every time I post a new video. And if you want to see me live stream, I'll be streaming very soon over on Trovo, so be sure to follow me over there. The link is in the description. So when it comes to aiming in COD Mobile, there are many things you can do to improve. There are basic things that a lot of people already know, and there are more advanced things that not too many people talk about. Have you ever been playing COD Mobile and you start doing terrible? You can't aim, you keep missing your shots, losing your gunfights, and you keep getting frustrated. You don't know what's going on, you don't know why you're doing this bad. Just yesterday, you know, you were popping off, you were getting so many kills, fragging out, doing amazing. But the next day, you're playing terrible. That might just be because of your sleep. Sleep is extremely important when it comes to everyday life. Without enough sleep, you won't be able to focus as much, and you tend to get irritated at the littlest things. It also affects your gameplay in COD Mobile, in any game really. You want to make sure you're getting as much sleep as you need every day. And I guarantee you, your aim will improve, and also your entire experience playing will get better. The next tip I can give you guys is lowering your sensitivity. When I first started playing COD Mobile, I can admit my aim was trash. It might not still be great, but I'm improving over time using the right knowledge. The reason for this was my sensitivity was way too high. When your settings are too high, your aim becomes very shaky and unstable. You do not have precision. So lowering your sensitivity in game might just help with your aim. Maybe not even lowering it, just make sure your sensitivity is right for you. Make sure it is comfortable. Don't just copy another YouTuber or pro player settings and expect to be good. You need to find the sensitivity that is right for you. So moving on to tip number three, you want to be using aim training maps. Go into COD Mobile and play the practice modes. Practice aiming and flicking and tracking and all of that good stuff. This is also a great way to find out if your sensitivity is too low or too high. You want to be doing this as much as possible, every day if you can, for a warm up, after your game, anything. And after a while, your aim will become better and more precise. The next tip I can give you guys is make sure your device screen and hands are to your liking. What I mean by this is check your screen, is it oily? Is it sticky? The same thing applies to your fingers. Some people like their fingers and screen very dry, others like it moist. So what you can do is wash your hands before and after you play. Put lotion on your hands if that's what you like doing. Clean your device screen. Do whatever it takes to ensure the level of friction you're playing on is suitable for you. And the last tip, it may come across as the most obvious, but practice. Practice makes perfect. The more you play, the more you practice, the better you'll get. The better your aim will get. It honestly is only a matter of time. So that is all the tips I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found these tips useful. I wanted to make it as straight to the point as possible. And if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I can ensure you I will make content with value and videos that do not waste your time. If you made it this far in the video, comment the word water, just W-A-T-E-R. Just so I know who the real ones are, the people that watch the entire video all the way through. And let me know in the comments what tips and tricks I should go over in my next video. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day or night, and I'll see you guys in the next one.